Did you know that this man here dream of freeing his people and other African nations from modern Western colonization? But the sad part is, he was killed by those same people he was fighting for, and other African nations feed him. Let me tell you the full story. This is Muhammad Gaddafi who ruled Libya for complete 42 years, starting from 1969 to 2011. But he was later killed by his own people. So what was their reason for killing him? That's what I want to tell you now. The Libya you see today wasn't like that during Gaddafi's rule. In fact, it was one of the richest Africa countries. Gaddafi declared that Libya's resources, especially oil, belonged to the people. No longer would foreign powers drain the wealth of the nation. The profit from Libya's oil flowed directly to its citizens, leading to increase in standard of living. Gaddafi made bold promises and it delivered. In Libya then, electricity was free, education and health care cost nothing. A newly married couple received substantial grants to start their new life. Farmers were given land and resources to cultivate. Even cars were subsidized. You pay some part of the money and the government paid the rest. For the car you want to buy for yourself, he made everything cheap that almost everybody can afford. Gaddafi's commitment to his people was personal. He vowed that his own family would not have a house until every Libyan gets a house. His parents remained in a tent while he transformed the nation. But was that the reason why they killed him? No. Just listen. Gaddafi was more than just a national leader. He was a threat in the side of Western powers. He challenged the status quo, pushing back against US and European influence in Africa. He founded revolutions, supported other African nations, and spoke out against Western domination. That is not all. Gaddafi proposed an African good back currency, a direct threat to the petrol dollar. You know, in America, they use only dollar, but in Africa, every country has its own currency. In fact, in South Africa, they have two currencies, one for the black South Africans and the other one for the whites. By the way, that is story for another day. Gaddafi dream was to unite Africa and be free from Western economic control and this made him dangerous to the Westerners. He was a threat to them because if Gaddafi should achieve that dream, they would not be able to control Africa and steal their resources in anymore. Another reason they have to eliminate him was because he refused to sell his country's oil in dollars. So the West would not allow Gaddafi's vision to succeed. The US with its allies covertly supported uprising in Libya, painting Gaddafi as a tyrant, terrorist and dictator who refused to leave the city. They fired the flame of rebellion, turning Libyans against their leader. To eliminate Gaddafi, they strategically turned the Libyan people against their own government, using propaganda, fake news and manipulated agenda to foil region-wide democratic revolution. Remember, it is that the same democracy they are using to control other, many other African countries, but we are coming to that very soon. So, they claim their mission was to combat terrorism, protect human rights and fight crime, but in reality, it was another cover-up, similar to what we have seen in Syria. In October 20, 2011, Gaddafi was captured and killed by his own people. A man who had once been their hero is now their enemy they have to kill. So bad. Why they, why they, they are doing this? The Westerners were rejoicing. And the truth why Gaddafi was killed remained hidden from the world. 
That is why when you go to media, when you go to media, you start seeing things like silent detector who refused to leave the seat and other lies. That's what you hear about Gaddafi. You will not, you will hardly hear that Gaddafi was one of the best presidents you have ever had in Africa. But the media will not tell you that because they don't want you to know. With Gaddafi gone, Libya fell into chaos. The benefits he once provided vanished. The free education, free health care and subsidies all vanish. The country which was once stable and prosperous become land of warlords and despair. The truth was clear. Gaddafi was not killed because he was a tyrant, but because he dared to challenge the West. You get the point. They said it was about freedom and human rights, but in reality, it was about maintaining control over Libya oil, Libya power, and Libya, Libyans. And that's what they are doing to other African countries. See, when I see an African country like Nigeria or Ghana celebrating independence, I, I will be like, what the hell is this? The truth is, we are not independent. There is nothing like independent in Africa. Just like the method of colonization has changed. The only country that is currently independent in Africa is Burkina Faso. All other African countries are still dependent. They love me, all my people with me. They love me all. But if they do love they, you... They, they will die to, to protect me, my, my people.